Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. You know what? Grandma upgrade it. Grandma got a smartphone here, but Grandma doesn't know how to use it, so... Uh, let's stick that there, turn off that. So, she thinks the screen needs to be pointed towards the people. It's okay, Grandma. You got this. Except for when he comes and probably steps on you. Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we are back once again, and we are ready to cause some more chaos. Now, last episode, if you missed it by the way, I'll flash it in the top right corner, we had a tsunami come into Tiny Town here. Hold on, let's, uh, let's scale this up. We had a very big tsunami come up here, and it is absolutely wiping out a part of the city. So this was one of your guys' suggestions. Now, I asked you guys last episode, let's go ahead and get a wide view again, what we were going to name this town. And you guys have finally decided on a name, and it is called Doomsday City. So that is the name that we are going to be calling this whole city here. And today, we are going to be doing something a little bit special. So let's go ahead and go over to the other area. Okay, so as you can see, there's tons of chaos going on. you got the tsunami, the earthquake slash sinkhole. You've got the boat crash. You've got the tornado. Well, I've started on an area over here. Now, I want you guys to comment below at what you want to see next in Tiny Town. I was seeing a lot of volcanoes and a lot of the meteor strike. So I'll probably run another poll. Uh, but if your uh, suggestion's not in the poll, let me know in the comment section below. But today, we're going to change things up a bit. I'm going to do something that I actually wanted to do. Today, we are going to be integrating some brick rigs here in Tiny Town. We are going to have a massive monster, we'll call him Lego Bob, come into the city, and he's going to be causing chaos. I kind of picture Lego Bob, or normal Bob, kind of being like myself. He likes to see a bunch of chaos, and somebody suggested a big monster which I think Bob is a pretty big monster when it comes to destroying things so we're gonna be doing that here today I'm also gonna set up a city hall for me because I'm Komodo gaming and obviously I believe I might be the mayor of this place so we're gonna set that up and maybe Bob is trying to get his revenge on Komodo so we're gonna be doing this here today we will have another episode of something probably big like a meteor strike volcano or whatever you guys decide next episode but if you're enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. All right, so I told you guys last episode that this was going to become kind of a bay here. So I've actually made an L shape with the land, and I have a beach here. And I picture Bob is going to be coming up from the water. Or actually, I think he'll be pretty much on the beach, destroying the buildings and hotels along the beach area, trying to get over to the city hall to take out Komodo. So... We gotta start with something. We gotta have a Bob here. Now, we're gonna have to create Bob out of the pieces that we have available. And luckily, uh, they have quite a few square pieces. Obviously, Bob's basically made out of squares, except for his leg joints, which might be this, uh, these cylinders here. So, do we wanna start from the top or from the bottom? I think we're gonna start from the bottom. So, this cube here looks about like Bob's pants. So, we're gonna stretch that out. There we go. Let's go ahead. Let's figure out where his feet are going to be. Actually, I need to turn this sideways. That way I can build up with it. Uh, hold on. Let's turn off snapping. There we go. All right. So Bob is going to be... This is going to be one foot of Bob's. So we're going to tilt this one forward. So we'll go boom, boom. Now he needs a joint. He needs a also a foot. So Bob's got a foot. Let's use, let's use that. Okay. We're going to put that there, and we're going to go boom, boom, boom. Uh, hold on, let's add one more, and we'll have to merge it a bit. There we go. So that's Bob's foot. So Bob, I believe, does have two joints. He does have a knee joint, so technically, I would probably need to put that slightly this way. Now, I'm going to try to match this up as close as possible. That way, there's not these little indentions, but this is going to be a bit tricky, so it's not going to be perfect. But I think this is going to look good once it's done. Okay, so let's see. Next color. Okay, that's good. This will be the joint where his leg is. So we'll just need to kind of merge. Let's see. Something like that. Are those the same color? Do we not have a cylinder that matches this? Oh, there we go. That was the wrong color. All right. Let's go and do this. 
And let's get this on top here. All right, so I think we have a set of legs for Bob. This is, I wouldn't call this the knee joint exactly. Probably need to do a little bit more of that. Uh, let's move this one outward a little bit. That's pretty close. His knees might be a bit high, but I think for the most part, that looks pretty cool. So he's going to be stepping over the beach. He's probably already destroyed some things. Uh, he'll be toppling buildings here. He's going to be rather big because I still need to do his waist, which we're going to get another, we're going to get another square here for that. So it's the right color. Okay. Let's go ahead. Ah, uh, needs to be a little bit bigger. We're going to have to merge some pieces, I think, here. So we're going to give him, we're going to let that poke out just a bit, I believe. Something like that. So let's go boom, boom. Get rid of that one, rid of that one. We need to stick this one inward a little bit. And then we'll move up to his shirt, which is going to be rather simple. All right, so we're slowly but surely working on him. He's a little awkward in the shirt area. I'm going to try to smooth this out. Let's go ahead and get his head on real quick. Uh, these, uh, I would say we would snap a lot of these pieces, but you really can't do that when you're trying to get the angles because Bob actually has shoulders. Uh, he's not flat across, and then he's kind of got joints, which I'm going to have to do his, uh, his arms are going to have to be squares. Uh, they might have a little bit more shape in the game. I need a gray. Actually, did I just pass it? Is that, is that our gray? Let's pop this on. I don't know. We're going to have to back up and see if that's the right scale. Ah, I'd say his head's a little bit bigger than that. Let's go up. And stick it where it doesn't poke out. Oh, that looks actually kind of awesome. His uh, body might be slightly off on the bottom squares. Now, if I can do that, if I can smooth it out. Now, do keep in mind, he's going to be in motion. So, that's why he's kind of bent. Like, his head's tilted a little forward. Uh, his legs, obviously, he's a little bit in a walking pose. Uh, he's going to have buildings all around him. Hmm. What can we do about his back, though? I'm not 100% not a big fan of the way his back is. We're going to have to shrink his head just a wee bit. All right. So, we're going to call this Bob 1.0 right now. Uh, it's kind of a rough version of him. I need to adjust some pieces, add some pieces, but this is where he's going to be. So, ideally, he's going to be ripping apart, kicking over buildings, doing what Bob's normally do here. So, let's give him some stuff. Now, this is probably going to be like a tourist area because obviously it's got a beach. So, we need the stuff that looks like hotels like this building here. Uh, we're going to need to scale out a bit. That way I can uh, place these buildings a little bit better. Alright, so what we're doing, uh, Bob is currently walking on shore, actually that's a crown, I want this, I like this piece here, Bob's smashing through buildings right now, Hold on, let's add some of these, there we go, make it look like a little collision mark, uh, where he's kind of blowing into the building here, you know Bob, when Brick Ricks first came out, he used to be able to shoot fireballs, I kind of miss those days, uh, there we go. So he's smashing that building. He's pushing this one over here. We'll have that one exploding. Maybe this one won't be exploding. He's just kind of tipping this one over here. All right. So where he is now, uh, there'll probably be hotels and everything. I need to add some street here. Oh, let's turn back on snapping. Uh, let me add some street real quick. That way we can really build this area up and make it look like a tourist area. All right, so as Bob kind of goes into the tourist area here, we got to have people running away. Everybody's pointing at him like, what the heck is this? Uh, let's get this down here. We need to scale this right. I got another one of those weird gaps again here in Tiny Town uh, between the beach and the, uh, the one tile. They wouldn't match up for some reason, even in the snapping mode. So that was kind of weird, but I think it's just something we're going to have to deal with. All right, so people, we need to have tons of people just kind of pointing. Uh, they're going to be running away from Bob here. Oh, that is terrible. That scaling is actually quite frightening. Uh, let's see. If we're down here, Bob's way up there. There's a couple more on that side piece I need to correct on his back. But for the most part, he's coming along nice. All right, so we got a little bit of a scene going on here. I did some building. I've got still quite a bit more to go here. So Bob is trying to get to Komodo Gaming, which we're going to have to have SWAT team trying to stop him. Everybody's going to be trying to stop Bob here. But you can see his path of destruction. He came out in the water. 
He came there. He was knocking over boats. There's people in the water. You can see the police are uh, in pursuit here from the water. And then he started on the beach. Now, I've got to add a ton more debris and people down here. But you get an idea as to what's going on. Uh, he actually threw a boat up in a building just in his... Uh, his little Bob fit of rage, which I don't know if it's rage or maybe he just enjoys it. I mean, Bob does love to blow stuff up and knock buildings over. So, uh, we still got a ways to go here. Uh, you can see the uh, actual the cargo container ship he kind of lifted up and pushed onto shore. Uh, but that's not it. He still has a ways to go. Now, I thought of something kind of cool. Uh, we actually have some weapons here in Tiny Town that I think I'm about to utilize here. And this is going to be something we haven't done yet. All right, we're actually going to use the SWAT team here. So they have positioned themselves on this building over here. Actually, let's go ahead. We're going to turn on snapping for this because I need these guys up here. I'm not really sure how they hold these weapons, so let's get them on the ground real quick. Now, these are uh, custom workshop items here that I'm about to pull up because the actual game doesn't have these. Uh, oh, we got a sniper rifle. How big is that? Oh, that is like already perfect scaling. That's cool. Okay, this guy's gonna be a he's gonna be a sniper here, so we're gonna have him in like the uh, the kneeled position. Uh, I can't guarantee the uh, the placement's gonna look 100% accurate, but still, nonetheless, it's gonna be pretty cool here. All right, so we got our SWAT team in place. This is gonna be one of probably several that are gonna be in position. Unfortunately, the building that they're in uh, is having some some technical difficulties because uh, yeah, there's a boat that just landed in it. But the sniper's ready, they're all ready. They're trying to take out Bob uh, before he does too much damage to the city. All right, so that's pretty cool. I think we'll use this in the future because eventually I do want to do like a big bank robbery slash police chase scene, which I think would be excellent. All right, so we're doing a progress update. As you can see, I've added some more detail to the beach. We got a lot, a lot more items lying around, people running around. Uh, we're gonna scoot through here. I've got another team positioned. They've kind of cleared the path. They're trying to get everybody out of the city. Of course, you got another uh, SWAT team over here. The police have blocked off this side. People running. We've got an Elvis impersonator because, of course, why would that not be on the beach? Of course, I think he's also uh, he's live streaming this as it happens. So he's running with the camera at his face. Up here, you can see more cops are arriving on the scene. I think I'm pretty close. I need to add some more stuff through here. It looks a little bare. But I think I'm pretty close to building the city hall, which is going to be right here. It's going to be like a big grassy area, almost something like, I would guess, maybe a little bit like the White House setup wise. And Bob's going to be coming right for it, and he's going to be coming for Komodo Gaming. So, let's see how we need to do this. That's a good question. I'm trying to figure that one out. All right, so I built a little square here. We're going to set the city hall right here at the end of this uh, concrete path. The question is, you know, we could use the White House. Uh, what is that? Lincoln Memorial. No, there is a... Uh, see, that's the Capitol building. There's this building. This looks like a city hall to me. Uh, hold on, let's get this out. Uh, let's see if we can get it somewhat centered here. Is it all the way towards the back? That looks... That actually looks pretty good. Uh, let's check our centering. I would say maybe it needs to go over to the right. Actually, no, I think that is centered. All right, so this is going to be the place where Bob is trying to get to. I'm pretty sure we should add some, like, fountains or something. Uh, maybe to the front of it here. So we'll add those. Uh, we'll add some, uh, let's do maybe a three fountain set up here. Let's go, oh, why did that go on the ground? There we go. There we go. And we're going to add some hedges up the side. Make this place look all proper and formal. Uh, let's go and get a little American flag out here. Oh, that's kind of big, isn't it? Uh, let's shrink that down just a wee bit. There we go. All right, let's get some hedges real quick. And we'll set up a little scene with, I guess, me. That's going to be weird. All right, so I've got to pick a character here. Now, a lot of people do not know what my face looks like. And I get asked all the time, Komodo, do a face reveal. Well, if you look at my 50k video, I have done a face reveal. Uh, you do kind of know what I look like. You know, I guess I have to use one of these formal looking people. You got this businessman, you got this one. I am a little, uh, let's see, I don't have brown hair. I more really have black hair. Hmm. What do I want to look like here? I've got to find me a model. 
Uh, you know, I think I found me. Uh, I found a businessman, which for some reason this isn't in town. This is in the airport. So we're going to use this one. So I'm going to be shocked. And you know what's coming next. Everybody's favorite grandma is going to be out here. I'm pointing out the whole fact that Bob is coming for me and he's destroying the city. But we need completely oblivious grandma. Here she is. She doesn't know what's going on. She's trying to take a nice photo of the mayor. Because that's what she does. Uh, let's go here. Alright, let's get her a camera. Actually, I need some bodyguards. Uh, you know what? We're going to have the police showing up to City Hall to let me know that we need to get out of here. Bob is coming, and he's coming for vengeance here. So this guy's going to be, like, tapping my shoulder like, we need to go. And Bob is coming. That actually is kind of frightening. Hold on, let's scale it up real quick. Oh, yeah. If you had that coming at you, that would be a, a little bit of a trip. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get the camera. You know what? Grandma upgraded. Grandma got a smartphone here, but Grandma doesn't know how to use it, so... Uh, let's stick that there, turn off that. So, she thinks the screen needs to be pointed towards the people. It's okay, Grandma. You got this. Except for when he comes and probably steps on you. But, perfectly fine. Alright, so that is your city hall set up. That is Komodo Gaming down there. I should probably have like a limo waiting for me to get me out of this place. There we go. Let's get a black limo. And let's park this bad boy right out in front of here. Turn snapping back on. There we go. Alright, so I'm ready to get the heck out of here and get away from Bob. Now, question is, why is Bob so angry today? You know, he's probably having fun, but maybe Dob. That might be something we'll have to create in the future. Maybe he's trying to get to Dob, or maybe there's another monster that he's fighting. That could be an idea, too. Uh, maybe we'll do that in a future episode. All right, I got a couple more things I got to do here. All right, so I think we are about through with the Bob scene. So basically what this is going to leave us, I need to extend this ocean out uh, at least uh, a little bit more. I'm not really sure how much. And it'll basically funnel down maybe almost into a river there. I might get rid of the beach on this side. This is just a little tourist area. Or maybe this will be the ocean. I'm a little confused by how I want to do the land from here. But basically what we got done today, which is actually quite a bit, uh, you got, of course, the disaster happening out here. All the people running from Bob, the path of destruction that he's already made. This uh, ship right here is a little on the little on the big side. Hold on, let's shrink that down a bit. There we go, it's sinking. People are running from the beach. Bob is stepping through. There's a couple areas. I cleaned them up a bit more, but there's still a couple areas I'm not 100% happy with. And it's just the way a tiny town likes to snap objects. It's a little odd, so that's why you see some creases in them. So yeah, you can walk through here. People are running all through here. I added the smoke effects uh, to the bottom. This poor lady better get booking because uh, Bob's coming. So you got all the fire coming up from the buildings. Of course, run through here. More chaos. SWAT team members ready to go. Uh, showed you guys Elvis over here. I'm kind of building into this area, which I need something here. I don't know what you guys are going to vote on next. I'm kind of curious. Uh, maybe volcano. The volcano, oh, well, real quick, is probably going to be something like if you played the old Sim City games. I don't know if the new ones had it. The volcanoes didn't come out of just like mountains. They would literally form wherever, say if you placed them, they would just form a mountain and then spew out. So maybe that'll be the case and we can do something like that maybe here. Not really sure. But anyways, uh, we finally built City Hall, of course. Showed you guys that. I'm over there. Oblivious Grandma's over there. Uh, let's see, anything else that I missed? Uh, like I said, you can see I'm starting to build a park over there. Pool area, it's kind of a resort, a tourist area through here. Oh yeah, there was something that I added. Uh, let's go ahead and turn around here. Uh, Bob got a, he's got a pretty good throw, so he threw one of the boats up here on the roof. Uh, they're panicking because this just crashed up here. Little do they know, the little captain's over here on this side, and he's, uh, not too happy to be hanging off that building. So yeah, I've added more debris through here, more items. I think it turned out pretty good. I like the way Bob looks. His head bothers me a little bit. Let me see if I can adjust that one more time. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So, crashing through the building. SWAT team's up here. Let's go ahead and uh, shrink this down real quick. All right, so this is Tiny Town in mini form. This is what we worked on here today. Almost finished all the water area. This looks so cool from here, especially the Bob from here. You don't see any of those little creases in his clothes. That looks cool. City Hall like that. Uh, maybe you should have aimed it towards the ocean. I don't know. 
I'm debating. I wanted it to be directly to in uh, Bob's path. So you've got that. You can see all the other stuff that we added here today. There's Tornado, Tsunami. Like I said, if you missed any of the episodes, check out the playlist. But yeah, comment below with suggestions. I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. Pretty happy with this one. Uh, welcome to the, uh, the Brick Rigs fans that probably came over here seeing this. Hope you guys stick around and uh, stay tuned for some more disasters. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day and we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town. Thank you.